She loves bacon, she's cantankerous, and her cat's in a jazz band. She's the producer, it's Elsie. I'm Elsie. Hey, funny people talking, Elsie. So, um, as you may or may not know, I'm the producer of the show, which means I get to make decisions, even though I'm not always the last and final decision. Westminster Pies is the final final. But uh, from my end of show food, you know, we eat a lot of things that are food, you know, chips, beer, chocolate, things that are cool, different, wacko, I don't care. So today I'm cheating because I can and no one's here to do anything about it because I'm by myself in quarantine with my cat. None of your business and none of your business doesn't care. So today I'm eating something that I know is good because I want to share it with you because I just discovered it in a market and uh, I don't know if it's common where you live, but it isn't where I live. So I'm sharing it because it's amazing and it already automatically gets 72 chickens out of 72 and I don't, you know, breaking rules. So sue me. Don't sue me. It's just a figure of speech. All right, so these little morsels of 72 chickens worth of love, I'm gonna show you. You see these babies? I'm gonna try not to spill them. Oh yeah. <clears throat> okay, these babies, these are Mexican tomatoes. Some people call them pearl tomatoes. Some people call them teeny tiny tomatoes. Teeny tiny works. They're amazing. If you can get some, do it. They're good for you. They're real food. I'm telling you, they're good. And they're really addictive. And they're f full flavor. If you can see, I'm like chewing and they're popping. Like, <clears throat> they're good. 72 chickens worth of tomato here in this little bite. I'm oh, sorry, I just spit on myself. Crap. All right. So, grouchy, I am not. These, these babies are like little red pearls of gold in your mouth. So, I'm just gonna eat them and let you, you know. So, yeah. Mexican tomatoes of love. I'm Elsie.